intern Adam here with Kelly Craddock uh, with the Young Adult Alliance. Uh, I'm just going to ask her a few questions. So Kelly, how did the Young Adult Alliance get started? Sure. Back in 2006, Live Strong um, partnered with the National Cancer Institute to look at the issues surrounding adolescents and young adults and the cancer burden. And what we found was that a lot of times this population falls between the cracks and so we wanted to address that and so together with the NCI we put together a five-year strategic plan that is basically the action plan, the strategic plan for the work of the Alliance. Okay, well what is the Alliance? So the Alliance is a coalition of about 140 organizations and these member organizations run the full gamut from being medical institutions to government agencies, to small and large nonprofit organizations. Um, and we all have a common goal to improve survival rates and, in, and improve quality of life for adolescents and young adults with cancer. And a young adult in our eyes is aged between 15 and 40 years of age. And so, I don't know if people know this, but 70,000 young adults are diagnosed with cancer each year. And that's eight times more than those younger, than those that fall under 15 years of age. Um, and so if you can imagine being a young adult, you fall in between the two worlds of the pediatric cancer and the adult cancer. And so you could be a 28-year-old sitting in a room full of people your grandparents' age getting treated for the same cancer or a similar cancer. So it's very awkward. They have very unique needs. Okay. Well, what are you guys doing specifically to help this population out? Sure. So part of the strategic plan, we're working to prove that there is a biological difference in the makeup of the young adult population versus the older and younger populations. We're also working to um, create a standard of care for this population because they do have unique, um, unique concerns. That's the word. Unique concerns that need to be addressed for this population, like fertility, like going back to school, like um, cognitive um, issues. So what can young adults do then if they're affected with cancer? Sure, so the Alliance is, is for organizations that work in the cancer arena. And so if you're a young adult, what, what I would like to say is know your risk. Know um, that young adults do get cancer. Know your family history. Know that if you think something is wrong, go get it checked out. Um, don't ignore and explain changes in the way you look or feel. And then if you are a young adult with cancer, you can call our Live Strong Survivor Care at 866-673-72 or 5 because we're always here to help. And then if you'd like to learn more about the Alliance, visit our website at livestrong.org forward slash YAA and check out the video that's on that first page. It's um, several stories of young cancer survivors and their journey. All right. Well, this is Kelly Craddock. And for more information, go to livestrong.org forward slash YAA.